So as I was telling you about mind, and I would like to quote you a reference of Mr. Hubbard. Mr. L. Ron Hubbard, in 1950, he wrote a book called Dianetics, The Modern Science of Mental Health. Here he talks about mind and the complete understanding of mind. And he describes what is mind. So he gives, he quotes it in this book that mind is, mind perceives, poses, and resolve problems related to survival. The basic dynamic principle is survival. We all are trying to survive. What is the function of mind? It perceives, poses, and resolves problems related to your survival. So, our mind has a way to responding in certain different kind of situations. Like we have an emotional response. It could be temporary or it can go on continuation you know we all have in our day-to-day -day life there is a certain way we respond back and that's where our mind plays an important role so for example we call it tone you know so when you have an emotional manner that can be graphed and that's called tone we call it tone scale so we have Again, Mr. Hubbard worked on science of survival, explaining what is tone scale. Tone scale is the scale where it plots all your emotional responses. Like you can be cheerful, you can continue to being cheerful, you, you go up to serenity, you feel very serene. One can start feeling composed. One can also feel anger, anxiety, fear, pain, apathy and death. So as you descend down the tone scale, that is very dangerous, you know, and that's the most vulnerable point. That's the point where you get susceptible to all kind of illnesses, disease, germs, viruses, accidents, pandemics, everything. So when your mind is in state of fear, any information it receives gets translated and calculated in the mind with all its negative images and energies and then it operates your system your body so your health gets affected and the moment you are in the state of fear when you receive a shocking news and alarming news or uh, something which really frightens you and something you were not prepared of or for prepared for that's where fear comes in and when you are in the state of fear the mind goes in nervous anxiety and that's where we start to lose a lot of our survival games and this is the point we are working on together so you can make sure no matter what goes around you in ups and downs and all these disaster situations but you operate out of fear the state of fear should not persist one has to operate out of or above from the level of fear. So now, how the, how the circumstances are dealt with when you are in fear? You may not take an appropriate decision. You may cause more trouble. You may end up having a lot of failure or disaster or losing everything. So basically, you have to control that state of your mind how to do that I'll help you with it because where do you get this fear you know so there he refers something very exciting and that's his way of lessening the threat we have solutions to the danger okay the reason I'm showing you these references so you can check it out online there are links they are free programs you can continue doing it sitting at home so there is something, you know, just a very simple step I wanted to give you. So when you are at home, you know, and stop watching the news for a few days and find something that isn't being a threat in your surrounding. Just look around your surrounding, you know, at home, in your living room.